Minnesota. Got an empty trailer here. I'm gonna be able to bring back those tarps tonight too. So I'm not carrying around six tarps. We got a load of steel that's going on here. It's pretty simple to tie down, but it's gonna be heavy. So we're gonna throw it on here, tie it down. We're gonna go home. I made myself available to keep working, but we'll see, I might be going home tonight. Either way, I'm gonna bring these tarps that aren't mine back to the yard and all that equipment that's in my truck from that other load that was tarped for me. We'll get rid of that stuff. The trailer's not gonna load itself though. Let's get moving. Looks like we're gonna be working in the snow. Why not? People working on the truck right beside me there. I just wanna be careful that I slowly roll out. So I tap my brakes a few times here just to let them know, hey, something's about to happen. Pay attention. Truck behind you is gonna start moving right away. I don't know what they're doing. It almost looks like they're doing an inspection there. They got like vests and they came out with a clipboard. The driver got out of his truck and now they're like inspecting his load. I don't think they were DOT, but I don't know. I'm okay getting out of here anyway. This is a really nice little truck stop here. Served me well, thank you very much. I had a shower here last night, it was $8. Usually I'd wait to have a free shower somewhere where I fueled up, but sometimes you just can't wait. And it was very clean, very, very nice. Had a towel in there for me. Now I can get through to West Duluth where we're picking up by going this way, but it goes through a national or a state park. And it takes a lot longer than if I just go around. It looks shorter on paper, but I tried it once. Definitely not shorter. The only downside is here, I've got to go past a scale. There comes another one of those loads. I'm gonna inspect that one too. Oh, and the scale's open too, of course it is. Of course it is. Wonderful. First thing in the morning. How fat are you? Fatter than yesterday, okay? Why? You don't need to ask, it's rude. So I had to scale in, because I need to know how heavy I am empty. I am full of fuel, so that's good. Good thing we fueled yesterday. Now they're gonna load me up to max, based off of that. That's why when you show up to a shipper with empty tanks of fuel, you might not be able to fuel after you leave because they'll load you right up. Unless you tell them, hey, like I need to add like 1,500 pounds of fuel yet. I'm gonna be loading up some of this stuff over here, I think. Another two of our guys are here already. Looks like they're both loaded. I'm gonna need to get him to move out of the staging area though so that I can get loaded. He's already tied down. We'll see how quick this can go. He started moving just after I finished talking to you there so I didn't get to go and say hi. But that's okay, I'll probably see him on the road. Probably I'll go one in the same place. So uh, just getting my Sunday dress shirts on here. Got my brain bucket on so my brain doesn't fall out. I need that. I know my jokes are old, right? I need to get some new material. But I have this argument. 
dad jokes never get old. Never. I gotta bring in my scale ticket here. Let them know I'm here. Let's get this ball rolling so we can go home or go back to Manitoba. I might do a turn and burn and go right back out. I don't know. Might be going home tonight. That would be nice. I'd like to go home, but I'd also like to make some money. So we'll see what uh, fate has in store for us. Can't wait to get rid of those tarps. Just have mine on there again. But here's a load. I'm just tying it down right now. I gotta throw four more straps. I'll winch them into these. These slide, unless if somebody went and put in a screw. Like this right there. That, that one can't slide any further that way. That's to protect the tire. Because too many times, guys, we'll use like these ratchets right over the tire. And then as the tire goes down the road and comes closer and closer, it eats up the tire. So, two ratchets on this side here. And there's two ratchets on the other side that I'm gonna use on this side. We got lots. We got ratchets along both sides of the trailer here. Those two for that. So I'm gonna quickly throw these over and uh, tighten her down. We'll be off. I've made myself available to turn and burn tonight when we get to the yard. We'll see if they have anything for me. Maybe I'll be leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Saturday, so it's a Friday today. So. Uh, they may not have anything for me until maybe Sunday to get a head start on Monday. I'm hoping I can just turn and burn and hit the road right away. But I don't know where I'd be going because nobody's going to receive me until Monday. So, probably going home tonight, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'll chase the nickels wherever they lead me. You got to be careful walking in the grass around here. Our Canadian Air Force, the great Canadian geese, have left landmines everywhere. Goose poop everywhere. Careful. That's good. Tied down. Tied down. Ugh, ready to go. Ugh. I was able to give myself a haircut yesterday, but I forgot my my short, close razor, so I couldn't get right down. That was disappointing. I always forget something. Always. Let's get all my paperwork organized here. Fill out some other stuff. We'll be headed back. I still don't know what I'm doing when I get back. If I don't get a message by the time I am ready to roll, then I will give them a call. Light a fire under them a little bit. Hey, what do you want me to do? I want to work, I want to work. Send me some nickels. A few dimes maybe, please. Got any loonies lying around? And we're on our way. Leaving West Duluth, about seven to eight hours away from the border. It's a lot of two-lane highway going through town, so we'll see how how quickly we can get there. 676 kilometers to the border at Emerson, Manitoba, and Pembina, North Dakota. Sitting at about 77,000 pounds gross. So the last time I pulled this freight, I blew a coolant line. And this was the truck stop that we had made it to uh, just down the road from where it actually happened. This is where we double checked everything. Memories, memories. So far this trip is going better. Knock on wood, let's hope it keeps that way. Back 
back into a spot here, run in. I need a coffee. American America, you know, Canada and the U.S. We're back in Canada, just about to the yard. Just gonna drop this trailer off and run home. Things have been going well. It's been a smooth ride. Going home for today or tonight, tomorrow, and the next day after that, we're gonna head out towards Kenora again. lights are still purple over here. I mean, I'm beginning to wonder, are they supposed to be like that? Because I was always told, and if you Google it, they're defective. And they should have warranty on them. Like, the municipality should be able to send them back. Because they're supposed to be glowing white, right? I don't think they're supposed to be purple, but they're all purple. Weird, right? That's the glow of Winnipeg right ahead of us, though. Let's get rid of this trailer, get our straps off here. I'm gonna drop off those tarps and all the, that equipment that's down beside me there. Let's try to get this done as quick as possible. Just about there. Okay, so we're here. There's some snow. Look at this, they've actually pushed quite a bit out of the way already. But pavement is pretty dry here. This is why I parked here. Uh, I've got to get this load cleaned up, ready for the next guy. Got to go and drop those tarps off where they need to be, and then take old blue home. Good smooth ride. Nothing to report, which is good. It's exactly the kind of trip you want. 
was a nice load. A little heavy, but nice. Can't complain. Let's hurry up. I want to go home. A lot more space in here now. Need a wide angle. One sec. There. See? All of this was boxes. Now I just have to arrange this all a little bit better here. And then start hanging up my flags and banners again. I got a banner right in here from Howes as well. Got to set that up. My Kenworth banner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you're dirty. That's okay, it's that time of year. I'm buying two new steers for the truck soon. I ordered them today. They're Firestones. Uh, the, the steers I have on here now are Michelins, and Michelins are the best from what I've heard. Firestones are right up there with them. But the Firestones were a lot cheaper. I asked their advice, because I went with Black Hawk drives, right? These are offshore tires. And uh, they're still doing pretty good, I think. I'm happy with them, wearing pretty evenly, except for this one that was messed up a little bit, but it's catching up. It's evening out. Uh, I, I went with Blackhawks on my drives, right? And the, I was happy with that. So I asked them, should I go with an offshore tire for my steers? And the guy I was talking to at KK Penner in Blumenort said, uh, no. No, 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 no. You stick with uh, either Michelin or Firestone or a nice good, like, uh, nice good American brand from here for your steer tires. They'll just last a lot longer. The offshore tires seem to cup a lot. They also have some issues with the vibrations. They haven't quite gotten the steer tires up to the level that we expect here. So uh, the, the Michelins were, uh, with tax and everything, almost $1,000 Canadian a tire, and I need two of them. And with taxes and everything, uh, an installation, the Firestones were about 750. So I went with the Firestones. We'll see how they do. I don't have them yet. I'm going to install them next weekend. So in a week from now. Tomorrow is Remembrance Day when I'm uh, filming this and Veterans Day. So no one's working and I don't expect anybody to work. You shouldn't be working on Remembrance Day. You should be doing something to remember the sacrifices that were made so that you can be watching this video right now and that I can be free to make this video for you right now. Because the world could be very different. You know, there are places in this world that want to make this world very different. And so I don't want to do that. I want the freedom to be who I want to be. So I'm thankful for the people who go out there and fight and defend our continent here, North America. We have a uh, very good defense system thanks to our neighbors next door in the US. I'm very thankful for our soldiers here in Canada and for our American friends next door who do, let's admit it, the bulk of the defenses here but we are also a much smaller population so remember that so cut us some slack we're well uh, i'm very proud of our military and the men and women in service that serve canada they do an absolutely phenomenal job uh with the uh with uh, the numbers that we have they do amazing so thanks everybody if you're in the military right now or if you uh, are a veteran thank you honestly thank you going to move my food from my fridge in my truck to my fridge in here. Hopefully it'll fit. First time coming home to this house. Feels good. <sighs> so first things first when I get home. <clears throat> I gotta be quiet. Uh, Theo's sleeping already. Uh, so, I'm uh, gonna clean myself up, shower, put my laundry in the washer, because I hang dry a lot of my clothes and stuff, so I have to wash it as soon as I get home so it has all day tomorrow to dry yet, because the next day I have to have everything ready so that I can hit the road again. So the next couple of days we'll be at home here, or the next day or so, day or day and a half, I'm getting a good reset here at home. Uh, not quite 48 hours, probably about 40 hours or so at home, and I'll be back in the truck. Oh, that carpet feels nice. I think I told you guys in a past video, right? I've never had carpet. At least I don't think I have. Wait, that first house I bought from my sister, that was a, well, it was a house trailer. I think that one had 
carpet in some of the rooms? No. No. Who are you? Forgot I had a mirror there. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Distract. Oh, sorry, squirrel. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I don't think I had any uh, uh, carpets in our houses before. And we did that on purpose. We don't really want to have carpets in our house because we have dogs. And carpets trap a lot of the dander and allergens, right? But we're going to give it a shot. We bought the house with the carpet in it. And I, I, I really like the way it feels under my feet. Like, it's easier on the, the, the feet, the knees. And the dogs really like it. They really like to lay on the soft carpet. So we'll give it a shot. We got a new vacuum cleaner, which is a pet-specific carpet vacuum cleaner from Shark, I believe it is. I'll have to show you yet sometime. And we got a new one, and apparently it works fantastic. So as long as we keep up with it, we should be okay. If it doesn't work out, if it if, if we just don't like the carpets, well, then eventually what we're going to do down the road, we'll tear them out and we'll put down a laminate or or something. But I don't know. So far, I think we're okay with the car. I think it's nice. But anyway. Time to get going here. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Oh, this is where she put this. I got this Wi-Fi booster so that I can get absolutely phenomenal Wi-Fi down here in my office because uh, it's pretty good, but it's not a full signal. I'll give this a shot. We'll see. I'll tell you more about this in the future. I'm not doing a review for them or anything. But... Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. There'll be another video tomorrow from here at home. So please, when you're out there on the highways, you know the drill. Please drive safe out there. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your stick on the ice. And we'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe.